That was awesome. So, uh, first of all, good morning. <laughs> it's uh, very early. The deer is still making a lot of noise. I don't know if you can still hear it, but. Anyway, it's a little bit after 5 a.m. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And I decided to go out and search for deer. Well, I already found one. <laughs> so that is pretty awesome. Uh, that was really a big streak of luck. So... Yeah, I uh, pulled up in the car and walked about 10 meters into the path and there was a roe deer. <laughs> I didn't see it, but uh, he clearly saw me and I don't know if you can hear, but he's still making a lot of noise, signaling the others of my presence.
Okay, so I'm approaching the meadow now where I was planning to find some road here because I know uh, that they like to hang out there and uh, well I do hope I see something because that buck from er earlier he made a lot of noise, he made a lot of warning signs so they will probably know something is up but um, yeah well I don't have much expectations but we'll see what we can find This is so amazing. I just saw a deer running into these bushes. I've been coming here for a couple of months now, hoping to photograph a deer in these bushes. This is absolutely amazing. Look. Focus. Don't know if you can see it, but I got him. Wow. Something incredible just happened. There was a male deer right over there behind the bushes. And while I was looking through the viewfinder and trying to photograph him, I heard something running from my right side, so from that side. And I was standing approximately here. Now, before I knew it, there was a second buck and it came jumping right in front of me through the bushes so it saw me and it was startled and I was startled <laughs> it got out of here so fast I didn't even have time to take a picture but what an experience this was amazing
some coffee first. That's the second time today that I've been surprised by a deer. <laughs> so happy that I decided to wake up early this morning. Wow. Animals are crazy, man. Okay. So, wow. It's been quite the morning. Uh, the first visitors to this forest are starting to come. Uh, it's about 7.30 now. And um, I think I will go back to my car and uh, visit one other location and uh, see if I can find anything there. When there's normal hours, normal morning hours, sort of speak, this place can be quite busy. So the chances of me seeing any deer or uh, other animals like hares or, I don't know, fox, are starting the chances are starting to go down every minute from now so I might as well go and visit another place where it's less crowded now <clears throat> before I go I would like to give you some tips if you're uh, planning to find roe deer yourself I usually work by a few simple rules. Uh, the first being smell, roe deer. They're, they they can't see very good, but they have incredible smell. So if you're somewhere out in a meadow like this, make sure that the wind is always in your face. Because if the wind is coming from your back, you will blow your smell all over the field and they will they will smell you from a long distance uh, another tip is that roe deer they are less suspicious of you if you move into a horizontal no a vertical yeah vertical uh, way towards them they especially rea react to horizontal movement if they see you and you stand very very still and you take a step or two steps in a vertical way towards them I'm not saying that they will not know there's a human coming but uh, they will be a little bit puzzled in, in a sense of what is that um, is it a human is it danger eventually the, they will run but uh, when they see you moving across the road they will run a lot quicker another thing I try to look for I, um, I scout the area for young uh, saplings that have been chewed on and there are small how do you call it um, small little roads between the bushes between the, the grasses that you can see that they use as passage passageway of course you can search for droppings and another thing that they like to do is they like to uh, claw out 
some uh, moss or or herbs so if you see with these little pits with a little bit of moss that's probably a sign that a roe deer was there eating I think that concludes the first video and so um, I'm gonna head over to the other area now and uh, see if I can find some more uh, roe deer but it's a little bit late already for them so I don't think I will have a lot of luck but uh, you never know you never know oh here's another tip and um, I just I just thought of that whatever you do always keep the camera rolling because before you know it roe deer will jump right in front of your feet and you have no way to prove it so that's a lesson I learned today um, luckily it's in the first video so <laughs> I know I should be way more alert uh, regarding the filming of, uh, of what I do so yeah I think I'm gonna need to pack an extra battery and an extra memory card because I'm not going to lose another moment like that I think it's time for me to head out and um, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it uh, it's not a very long video it's not a uh, video packed with information but it's the first in a series of which I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one cheers